It was quite a scene last Friday right outside our windows. A red car causes a chain reaction crash and then the driver makes a run for it. And that's just the beginning of the story. Live on Monument Avenue is Action News reporter Dan Cuellar. Dan, you've got the tale to tell. That's right, Jim. Uh, it was your typical chain reaction accident that happens every day somewhere. But this one just so happened to happen outside our television studios. This one just so happened to be captured on surveillance camera. And this one just so happened to have a bizarre and weird twist, as you're about to see. It was 6.50 last Friday night. Three cars traveling eastbound on Monument near City Ave slowed down due to a blue car stopped ahead. But the driver of a red Cadillac apparently did not see the cars had come to a stop and slams right into the rear of the third vehicle, causing a classic chain reaction accident. What's not so classic is what happens next. The driver of the Cadillac decides to jump out of the car through the open sunroof while the car was still moving, inching towards our building. He's about to make a run for it, but realizes he forgot something in the car and dives in to get it. Moments later, he runs off, losing his flip-flops along the way. And all before the other motorists realize what had just happened. It was over 21 minutes later that state police would arrive on the scene to investigate. All this time, the driver of the Cadillac is nowhere in sight until he arrives in the back of another state police vehicle almost 44 minutes after the accident. 46 minutes after the accident, an ambulance would arrive to check on those who were injured, including a young child. All of the injuries appeared to be minor. An hour after the accident, state police appeared to issue the driver of the Cadillac a citation and leave. And somehow, some way, an hour and 17 minutes after the accident, while paramedics were still taking care of the injured, the driver of the Cadillac gets in his car and is able to drive it away. Well, we were unable to reach anyone from state police for comment on this to learn the identity of the driver and what he was cited for.